is gold. Kelly Ripa is poking fun at herself on Live with Kelly and Ryan after losing her voice following a mysterious illness. Don't worry about it. People love a train wreck. <laughs> On Tuesday morning's show, the 52-year-old joked with her co-host, Ryan Seacrest, about her whispering tone as she tried to fight through her sickness and speak on air. Everyone has come into my dressing room saying she can't really speak. I assume they're talking about you. You're welcome, America. <laughs> Wait, that is... Wow. Were you smoking cigars? Obviously. You got into Mark's collection? Yes. <laughs> the difference is I inhale them, apparently. Well, or eat them. <laughs> uh, so, are you feeling any better? You just can nod or write it down. You don't have to, to push too hard. Despite not being very vocal, the mom of three was able to share a hilarious story about her husband, Mark Consuelos, trying to help her while she recovers. Yesterday after work. Yesterday after work. <laughs> Yesterday after work. Around 2 p.m., my voice just left the building. I had no voice at all. And so Mark said, don't worry. All you have to do is just nod yes and no. Is this for, like at home or at here? Home. At, at home. For, for life in this, okay, in the wild. Just look at yeah, me. Yeah, just look at me and nod. Look at me and nod. Would you like tea? Would you like something? And he goes, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> That's not a nod question. That, that is not a nod question. He should give you a list and you point. He is so bad at that game. Kelly, who explained that she is feeling better, was out sick from the morning show at the end of last week, telling fans on Monday that she was frustrated that her test results couldn't pinpoint exactly what she had. When you get sick and then you have the audacity to test negative for everything, <laughs> <laughs> and the doctor's like, no, I mean, maybe you just have like a random thing. And I go, it's not a random thing because I'm clearly dying. The broadcaster isn't shy about giving her fans an honest update on how she is doing. In October, she opened up to Access Hollywood about why she believes it's a privilege to share her life with her viewers. I keep saying it is such a privilege to have this shared history with the audience yeah. and my kids don't, it's not wasted on them. They feel very honored because people will say to them, people will recognize them without us and will say, I grew up, you know, I, I watched you grow up on TV. You know, I watched you grow up. And they have an extraordinary sense of pride in that, you know, yeah. it means something to them. 